start throwing the announcements out there. over there we go with that one with the corner of this guy all right here we go That V key is just throwing me. All right, let's uh, sheesh. uh, control A C back to the Twitter's paste. Pop it over here. I do want to say we got uh, ooh, three new follows. Let's see. We've got a zero ZM1. Thank you for the follow. Our podcast. Thank you for the follow. Love your your uh, OBS stream the other day. Uh, Flame Magic. Thank you for the follow. So, some things we are doing today. Um, I have been working on. All right, why it's got some Naya. Oh, that sounds too fast. 500x playlists. Been working on this guy here called Tmux. We've been going through making some Tmux content based on my dot file. Um, so I'm going through dot files and pulling out pieces that, that make sense to end up here. And I've been mostly doing that off stream today. I had some time, thought we'd do it live. We've got Three, uh, three people out there uh, got out in the chat. Would like to see who's all who all's here. All right. Also, we've been we've got a series going. All right. See, we're we're only two ahead right now. We gotta catch up. So we got this five part series. I like how we switched over to these nice uh, starting sessions. And I'll show you real quick what we do. Um, we end up taking OBS. So here you can see an OBS exception. So we get a, a nice card here. Uh, we get. At first, I was just like completely off the cuff. But then I started like making the post first, and then I could talk to it, so I'd have the post up, and I'd start talking, hit face cam for just a second, and then scroll over to this one. Yeah, the alarm's off. Um. So, anyways, I've I hold uh, I got a hyper key on the bottom corner of my keyboard. I hit, hold that and then I hit F, brings up my face cam. Hold G, it goes to starting. A goes to this one. I have it so A and S go between A. When I have my keep cam set up, S will be like split cam. I don't remember what D does. 
but I had the whole home row set up. I thought D, one of these, maybe it's J, there we go, J. Well, uh, hide my face if I'm ever in the way. All right, so that's like the, the end. We, we are taking, taking stuff and we are putting it into content to teach others about how I do things the way I do things. All right, I'm going to go back to face cam real quick. Just because I don't remember what I have open from yesterday. Still out control enter. We are going to do a little space J. Okay, so it just has my username pulled up. Um, I'll make sure I don't have work open anywhere. Uh, We can actually just do a control space colon uh, kill server. Back up. Bring you guys down with me. All right. Here we are. Uh, in the base session. There we go. Um, I have TMUX set up to open anytime I open a terminal. Um, by default, if there's like no other session to attach to, it creates one, and it creates one, you can see right down here, based on the home directory. Um, so if I do a prefix J, it'll list all my sessions. Right now we don't have any. Um, and do uh, oh, those are work. Get rid of those. Uh, space G. So these are things like uh, simple Kedro, Kedro starters, Kedro diff. This is the <clears throat> starter we we started on stream a few weeks ago. Um, we can control space J. Switch back to them. What we want to do in Vim and then GET, take this to tmuxconf. I'm going to start getting rid of things and start cleaning this up. Those are things that I just never need. Um, this I got all sorted out. Uh, that's probably a video in itself. Check health. me a little bit to get this one right on this one but uh check health in neovim uh super and even works in vim uh where's tmux here all right give some handy info everything is okay right now um yesterday i had some color issues and i fixed them What do we have here? Uh, mod S, new window. Uh, I don't know what these were doing. Let's look here, we've got So these are commented out because display pop-up is brand new and I've got the, the non-pop-up version right up above it. Uh, I'm keeping that around just in case I ever need to go back. I don't think I will. Um, I'm not sure, like, is there a way to like, try pop-up and if it doesn't work, then do new window? I don't know. I'm 
Okay, and then this is the same thing. And then this is our scratch session. Let's do this. Let's make a new... section here. How do we do sections? Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. We are, is that replace mode? No, uh, that's just for one. Is it uh, replace mode? We are in replace mode, so now we can do like session which are... Okay. What's another section we've got here? So this is uh, shift. Are these are split findings? Do I still have them. Other one, yeah, we got it. Okay. Every these down here. Um, what to call those? Okay. Oh, and this is how we used to do it. Now we are open app and split. See, I don't know if I might change all these to pop-ups. I have it, so control mod P goes to a Python split. Exit. Let's uh, take a patch pad. Let's make this a C. session if we made a new session here of Python what do we do actually let's uh Get confused. Not S. Ah. Uh, take a look at which TA. Okay. There. There. Back up here. Zoom. Escape. Ah. Uh, we're gonna edit. There. So this is the. Pretty much modified out of Chris Toomey's T A T script. Um, okay, so new session here, and then we do a tmux send keys. Okay, and we have a path name there. So, new session. Oh, 
Ooh, you can do like a semi colon there. Split window dash. Okay. Curious here. We do. To switch the double quotes are double or double. Um, we're gonna do a new session named Python. Don't know what dash d is, but they're using it here. Hi, Python. Line. get happy with that we did a promod p new session not what we want New session VI. What if we we just do that? What did we end up like that? Where's our This is what I wanted. Do C dash M dash B Emux new session AS Python. We just add IPython. Okay, that doesn't work. This works. So then we can do D to detach. Okay. I have a oh P is previous one. Ooh, and then we've got previous session is shift P. So that's where we can't do that. Um, still don't like that. It doesn't start Python. My screenshot tool. Shift P. Can we do a control space? Control space, colon. Oh, hey, Afton Steps. Oh, we got, we got people in the chat. I'm over here just like rolling away by myself. We got Afton in the chat. I thought a dot file was hidden file starts with a dot, but maybe there's another meaning. I just joined. I'm trying to follow. All right, so, um... In the chat okay um so yeah so dot files are yeah typically files that start with a dot the main file i'm working with right here is this 
www.tmux.conf. Um, and I went through at the beginning. Um, I started. Things will work. I started doing this YouTube series here. Where we got a playlist running on Tmux. And literally what I've been doing is I've been grabbing a line out of my Tmux conf and then talking about it for a minute and posting it to various places. So one thing I wanted to do today was just to kind of go through my Tmux conf and, uh, and try to clean it up and understand if we can make it better or grab, get some, uh, get some new content out of it. <clears throat> okay, and then feed kills. So we launch Python dash mi Python. Um, I'm trying to do. I have a a hotkey here. So if I hold uh, Alt and hit G it creates a scratch pad for me. And I can hold Alt D and it gets rid of it. The nice thing there, like, that doesn't mess up my session history. If I go, oh, can't find last session. Um, control space J. Um, so these are all my sessions. So throughout the day, I might end up with uh, 15 of these. I end up in a bunch of different projects. Um, if you use something like VS Code, our studio, whatever it is. This is like having 15 instances of those running. This is Tmux and NeoVim. So the resource usage is pretty negligible. Um, so if I go here, I can Alt B. And this toggles between these two sessions now. Alt B just goes between last session. But I can have this third session that's my scratch pad. I can even like nest them in. I don't really want that, but uh, I can just uh, carry that one session with me. I'm kind of like I, and then I got to my dot files. And one thing I used to have down here where open an app in a split and Python was one of those. And I'm like, what if I just had like a, a Python split? Um, I don't know what a neo rate is. Speed kills. Uh, use Tmux and VS Code. I lived in that world for a very long time. And I'll say, like, uh, VS Code is really good for a project or two. Um, having, just having Tmux and NeoVim or something lightweight use sublime text or something like that if you want but just to like pop into another project is super handy uh for me i kind of hit a point where it's just like i just want this nice lightweight editor everywhere and doubled down on that um i kind of entered like this team lead role and i tell you i am in a dozen projects a day just like popping around trying to fight fires and I think like a big heavy editor uh, kick up and take two minutes every time you want to switch is not fun. Uh, you started IPython in Scratchpad and assumed you may want to run the module IPython instead of native Python. Oh, I was just giving you an option. Okay. Um, Yeah, so typically do everything in in a Python. Um, it gives you you've used Jupyter before. I don't know if you you do Python speed kills, but 
um, gives you a lot of what Jupiter has there with um, like the line magics and histories, things like that. I don't, I stopped using Jupiter a few years ago because I felt like I ended up doing projects twice. I did it like in this notebook style. And then I had to rewrite it to a script. And I'm like, well, what the heck am I doing here? Doing this project twice. Why not just write it in a script and be done with it? Um, anyways. So can we make a new session? Can we do Tmux new session AS? So that S is calling it the session name as Python. But then can we have it automatically start Python? Is that something? Okay, so you don't use it unless you're teaching people, but rarely use it now. I did the same thing for a long time. I don't know if you've seen Joel Groose has the uh, super well-prepared I Hate Notebooks given at JupyterCon. In there, he talks about um, doing the same thing, and he's like, he has a GIF that's like putting people on Jupiter's, like uh, giving them like this big push at the beginning of a race. And the GIF has like two two racers ready to go, and one gets shoved into the ground, and the other uh, goes off and wins because the person who got the big push tripped over their feet. Um, so he no longer uses Jupiter for for teaching either. Um, I have taken some courses where the instructor used Jupiter too, and it di it did not work. They, they essentially gave us two notebooks. One was complete, one was empty. And he's like, okay, open both notebooks. And then work through it by copying one notebook into the other. And there would be code blocks that were like 30 lines long. And at the speed he was going, there was no write it yourself and actually like think through the problem. You had to copy and paste to keep up was not a good workflow. Like, it didn't work for me. I learned nothing. I don't even remember what the course was about. That's how <laughs> terrible it was. Okay. Um, so we're da we are looking into this new session. And I did see some where they're just like, like this, new session, VI. Create a new session running VI. What if we do, can we do IPython? before our flags. So now, control space P, or control mod, control mod P. Okay, that is no longer working. Okay, it says we can also do new. I want it, I want it named. On two. So what? Or, and I think the the A. So this capital A is like uh, attach if it exists. Uh, this is something we may, we may just uh, move on from, but it it could be cool because we also got things like. Uh, VFM. Let's see. Does that even still work? Oh, I don't have VFM installed. I would have to install that. I don't think I need either of these anymore. Getting off topic. Uh, this belongs up with our splits. Yeah, we use these, these three go together. So you uh, go down here. We're in this, uh, we can do a mod shift. I'm tripping over my new keyboard still. Uh, can, yeah, mod shift uh, X, and then we can do mod S, mod V, V, uh, uh, oh, that was C. Yep, S. Nope. 
What I do? I disconnected. Ca. Yeah. So yeah, we can get all these sessions going. I can do a little relay out. Either way, um, with A or capital A, and then we can go through and hot shift X on these other guys. Yeah, the the dash capital A is attach. And so what that means is like I'm going to name the session with that dash s Python. But if one already exists, just attach to it. Don't don't send me an error that it already exists. I may give up on this. I don't know if that's uh, most important today. Mux new session, AS Python. Um, this is my Tmux attached script. I was going through this a little bit ago. Um, in here we have some new, new dash session. Okay, but then we do this send keys. Is that what we need to do? I don't know if I can just like do this in a one liner. This has to be like this is a couple lines of bash. I may meditate on What if we don't name it? It said we can just do new session. Python. It's not working for me. For now, I'll probably just stick with the, the scratch pad. Like I got it. So mod G. And if I'm currently using IPython, keep that open. And then I can just do things like uh, use it as calculator or whatever I would need a scratch pad for. Yeah, so those go away. Um, get status could be nice. Like if I could, but I have that maybe in other ways. Resizing paints, that's a video we need to do. D, uh, 6J. That's going to come up here with, uh, we manage splits. I think these are all splits and windows, mark and swap. I think resizing panes belongs here. I think this MF is old. Oh no, I did. He did that to create the session before I realized that there's the dash capital AS. Could we? This one. This could be interesting because this one we wouldn't necessarily need to like attach back into the same one. Find M T up. Work. Oh, 
it works. Okay. That's kind of cool. We interact with PageTalk. Yeah. Okay. So if we do uh, T, that brings up HTOP. We can't see commands though, this far out. I have one. I have one that goes, oh, I do have this one that goes big. I think this is more. We'll do a DI double H top. We will bind dash N and dash T. Delete this one. Now, if we do. Mod T, oh yeah, big H top, escape. Escape, you, you to quit. H top. Thank you. I don't want to see if I can get VIFM. How do we install BIFM? I have a GitHub download. Install. Hungry. You want to grab it out of the fridge? You need me? Oh, you warm it up a little bit. Here, let's, uh, oh, mommy, I have some install scripts here, install, oh, so this was part of, I used to apt install this, but it didn't work on this machine. It's for Debian and Curses package. You need that. Do they have a release here where we don't have to build? Yeah, he is. Look at the wiki. All right. We got to go do some... Oh, what's in the Some snack? I'll be back.
where there's OBS. There we go. And we're back. Let me know in chat if you stayed around through that, if you can, you can stay through that level of break. Like hats off to you. That was, took a minute. I'm out of breath. I'm up and down the stairs here. On that computer. Work. Okay. Getting things set up. Back to it. Okay. This guy. Uh, oh, this is in DevTainer. This. Okay. Open an app. Oh, we were looking at installing VIFM. Have to do that. Okay. At the same time. It's uh, I don't think it's today. In border, did I ever figure that out? Let's do a uh, B. Let's, uh, let's kill this one. This one here. This belongs somewhere else. Up here in like this uh, setup. Yeah, set option. Option. We're going to bring this down to our status window. Okay. Status stuff goes down here. Paste, ink J, E. Big D. Uh, I am just going to go through. We are getting rid of comments. Stuff has been commented out. Like, this has been years. Years since as long as this stuff has been. Oh, hey. You like the coffee sign? And got a new coffee while I was downstairs. So. Get the sign. I tried to cut back on coffee like a couple weeks ago. I went from, I was up to like five, five a day, and uh, went down to one. And my wife was like, I don't know what you've changed, but you need to change it back because I can't even talk to you right now. Your ADHD is off the chart, and you can't stay on the same topic for more than half a thought. So... Out of focus. 
Um, I'm a noob at this. Is it okay if I ask, is this all a bash script? This isn't exactly a bash script. Um, so this is my tmux configuration. Let's go to GitHub slash tmux slash tmux. It's for this guy. Um, essentially, rather than using uh, I'm back. I'm back to. I settled on three. I was at too many. I was getting, uh, getting like anxious, anxiety type of feelings a lot. Whereas it's just like I can't calm down, you know. But then going down too far kind of went the other way. All right. So rather than using what what editor do you use? Afton, are you in R Studio, VS Code? You. Either way, you're familiar with those. Rather than doing that, I do everything in the terminal. And I love the composability that uh, the terminal brings. Where, uh, go back. Um, where uh, it lets me do almost anything I, I want for my work right in the same place. Um. Uh, yeah, so what Tmux is, is a terminal multiplexer and lets me do things like my window splits, alt, there we go, and then uh, shift X. Yep, use RStudio or Eclipse for personal stuff and mostly working on IntelliJ, Jupyter Notebooks for work. IntelliJ, so are you using it in IntelliJ or Jupyter? Does that mean like uh, PyCharm? I've never used IntelliJ. I'm assuming IntelliJ isn't that like, uh, that's like what's behind. Yeah, JetBrains is the word I was thinking of. And they make. Oh, there is an IntelliJ. Use the Python plugin for IntelliJ. I'm surprised they chose that over just using PyCharm. Okay, so at work, they kind of like set you up. Um, yeah, interesting. Like I, I didn't, is that, okay, so it's called IDEA, maybe? A capable ergonomic IDE, oh, for JVM. Okay. So I, I always thought of like IntelliJ is like this thing that sits behind all of the JetBrains editors, whether it's uh, PyCharm or uh, IDEA isn't the one I'm thinking of. There's like, they they probably have like six different editors, maybe more. Developer tools. Here we go. Yeah. Ruby Mine, WebStorm. I don't know what writer is for Rust. I don't know. C Lion. Uh, the Java one. The Java one's the one that I, I hear like really hard to do Java without their uh, editor. Maybe it's not a JetBrains editor. IntelliJ is Java one. Okay. Anyways, I use Tmux. It lets me do Windows sessions, panes, all that fun stuff. Um, super lightweight. And um, I use it kind of like an IDE, I guess. Um, and I ended up in this role where I'm kind of like a team lead. I mean, like 15 projects a day, and it's painful to do that, and I like impossible. Okay, I think I. Oh. We don't have power line anymore. Source. 
So anyway, I guess back to your question. What is this .tmux.conf thing? This is just the configuration file for tmux. Um, it took me a long time to realize, but these are just, these are shell commands. And this is essentially a bash script, but it's tmux script, I guess, I don't know. So like, oh, I detached. New keyboard is still throwing me. Um, where do we have one that's like, okay, so display pop-up. So rather than, like, we want to run this display pop-up here. Um, I go to insert mode. I should be able to copy, nope, insert mode. Okay, there, and then tmux is going to grab this. I just put tmux in front of that and then run it. It does the same thing. So this is how I switch projects. I've got all my projects. These are all my like public projects, we'll say. Um, I can go to this project. It started up, and I can quickly, let's edit the runner, and I'm in the runner, and I can go back to the project I was in. And these days, like the, the, with the language servers, like I get a lot of the same, uh, autocomplete. Oh, my camera died. I get the same autocomplete type of stuff that did an IDE get. All right, let's see if we can save this with a face cam. All right, we're going with this guy. Does not look good. Oh, we got to go to face cam narrow. Uh, integrated. Oh, it's not in the right place. Hey, look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do one. <laughs> all right, all right. We have to we had to roll out a potty dance. Okay. Uh where is integrated webcam? Sony, I'm flipped. I don't know if you can even see me. Come on. Here we go. Um, let's hear. Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, sure. This. Here we go. I had this set up one time as my key cam. There we go. There. Coffee sign's going away. And we're we're kind of back. Good enough for today. Good enough for today. Hopefully I'll we'll we'll get some. Okay. Let's get a second battery. What a battery cost. It's Literally, I don't think it's a DSLR. Sony, it's probably like the super popular one everybody's getting today for their super fancy webcams. But like, 
10 years old, not made for what I'm doing with it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Right, so something I want to do. We're gonna open up my blog. We're gonna go to a Tmux article. I think I, I at least got kind of through the the dot the the Tmux configuration. Um, what was our last one? That was on fourteen eighteen. Okay, I think choose tree goes out on the nineteenth. This was our last one. Uh, let's do a vertical split, and we are going to write this as, what do we want to do? Res resize paint. No, that was one that, uh, that someone on Twitter asked about. Resize. Side and we PG so Afton, do you do uh, Python at work? It sounds like, and then mostly R on the side for personal stuff. Here, let's go back. Get these guys. Pink. J. Back. Face. Back tick. Bash highlighter for it. I don't know. Yep, use Python at work, but art belongs to R. Do you do data science on both? Or is like is Python like web development different kind of headspace than what you do with R? thing we mouse and what data science for both I tend to do more experimentation and modeling at work more package dev and just EDA, data visualization on stream. Sometimes I dabble in Java on stream. It's a joyful disaster. <laughs> I can see that. I've never touched Java. I've never touched anything low level enough that I've got to like allocate memory and all that kind of stuff. I do Python and Bash mostly. Maybe like a few more, like some JavaScript, things like that, but nothing, nothing low level. Okay, so we got this article scaffolded up. We can do a uh, D title is going to be Tmux resize.
I don't even remember what the default. I'm thinking of. But like, hard to remember. We'll call it difficult. You took classes in C, C++ for school, and the, and that was a whole world of memory made. Malik, that name's, that sounds like the name of a wizard. I don't, I think I know enough that it has something to do with, with uh, memory. That's it. I have no idea what it is. We... Little scrunch. I set these as uh, uh, malloc equals memory allocation. That makes sense. That's where the trouble starts. Most often, like I just did, when I need to pick up my typing speed. I, I tell you, I was at 35 words a minute for years and years. And this year, worked on it pretty hard for like a month. I got up to like 70. I can do 60 pretty consistently. I don't think I can like, I don't know what my speed would be at just like, Typing things that aren't like speed tests. Typing and talking, though, is like something I got to work on. Um, anyways, so most often when I need to resize panes, I just grab the of the pain. Uh, 
not that often that I need to reach, uh, change the size of a pane. bash okay this one is going to go out on 20. okay what that is but I keep hitting it I'll be um we've got splitting resizing select layout that was you know what I wanted here resizing go yank 5j and go back and this is I can hit uh alt a alt shift a did I completely break Tmux config this morning? I'm not getting some of my bindings to work. Oh, I know why. This was a Vim split, not a Tmux split. So if I do, if I go back to a split now, yeah, we can. Resize these all day. The Vim ones, I, I resize these even less. Most often, I just go full screen. I can just toggle. I have a capital WW. Does like a toggle back and forth. Okay. So from here, we are going to write to same directory, but Mux dash select layout dot mp telescope select layout how I still feel the need to look at my keyboard. I don't even have keys printed on it. Just like I got to figure out where my fingers are. Eventually I'll get this figured out. Um, the yank J back paste triple dash boom. So there are four layout strategies that I use. They are main, vertical, main, horizontal, even horizontal.
They're going to record these later. Getting them all laid out here. Resize. Uh, another one I thought of is rotate. If I do a bunch of splits and I do Alt A, that gives me a new layout. I can do O. No, that takes me somewhere else. Forgot about that. So if I do, oh, that rotates me around this clockwise circle. If I do control space, control space, control space, capital O. Not it. Space control O. That's it. That's easier anyway. Um, so I can hold. Nope. I'm staying in main. So we can so we can maybe keep echo. Hello. We see our echo hello is there. So these two are rotating around. Kind of fun. Control space. Control space. Control O. So I'm just holding control and hitting space O, space O, space O. Okay. Uh, control space. Colon. Rotate. Yeah, rotate window. That's what we're doing. That's what all the posts. Uh, X. Okay. Get rid of that split. Um, then we can do a right. Out of delivery, new charger. Uh, Tima. Okay. Oh, before we do it, before we do it, don't do it yet. Uh, we have resized paint here. You were the package man. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the thanks for the charger. Oh, perfect. All right. So we've got title needs to be so he's still going with the delivery. Uh, select layout. Uh, thinking here, she's got me thrown off. Um, right. Uh, two. What, what were we even doing? Rotate. Uh, T mux. What kind of blog template is this? This is just Markdown. Um, I used to have a Gatsby site. Um, that Gatsby site slowly grew to each page being like uh, two and a half megs. Every time you hit my site, it was two and a half megs. Mostly JavaScript that did absolutely nothing. Well, it did like a whole like React thing where um, I'm on a page and it does the shadow DOM, whatever that kind of thing is. Flips looks good. Um, I now like look how fast this is. Like that's fast enough. Home, Emux prefix. Like I don't. Like this is fast enough. I don't need the that type of stuff. And we do F12. F11 is there. F12. 
we hit network. Do a space, not T, back to JetBrains. Um, this network, yeah. I have, when I embedded that, it gets big. Let's do um, this one. This was actually kind of a somewhat double scroll bar. So this is a bigger post, but no embed. Control shift R. Oh, you can't see it here. Pop it up here. And my face is in the way. 85 kilobytes transferred. Anyways, I just use, I have a, a Python. Uh, it's, I ended up making my own static site generator in kind of a weird way. Not, nothing more than like the Python's markdown library kind of wrapped around a couple of things. Uh, use blog down for, and it looks similar but different. Gosh, it's R. <laughs> okay, so you use plug down or R and it looks similar but different. Okay. Um if you've blogged on dev two, it also looks very similar. Um if I go to dev two, I go to dashboard. Um I pull this guy up and I hit edit the same thing um i can go here and i can oh we're in the middle of making an art uh tmux rotate window dot md rotate Um, okay, rotate window, save. Uh, if I go to this incremental, like the same thing, um, except I get, I add a couple extra here. I made, um, I made my generator as like slim as possible because I don't want to write out all this kind of stuff every time. I want like, some automation here so like my cover images are automated um and things like that and i just like the things that i gotta tell it i tell it and i let it figure out everything else um and essentially like at the time i made it i wanted to learn about um some things like pluggy so it's uh we can go to it it's uh on github It's called Mark. And it is uh, Markdown and Data plugins all the way down. Um, so I wanted to learn about building some sort of framework that was all plugins. So all the framework does is gives you lifecycle methods. And this one is blob load, uh, render, and save. So essentially, I can make a plugin that in the glob phase, it looks for blog posts and it puts them and it puts like a list of files somewhere. Load phase um, would load those files. And that could be like, I could make a, a plugin that does glob and load for JSON. Maybe I have like some other thing built somewhere else. And I would have something that could look for those files and then render and then load and render them. Um, right now, it's all marked down. So, yeah, it works. And you can see uh, this case took 16 seconds. Um, a with the cache built, three seconds, I think. Oh, it says near instant, but 
looks like based on the terminal it took a couple seconds um i wanted things like seo og image and things like that out of the box i wanted it in python where i'm comfortable not in javascript anymore um, yeah so here are the two sites currently built with marcata both mine it's a personal side project probably not ever going to be like a thing that takes off i'm okay with that like it does what i want gift to myself and let's go back uh well performance not performance lighthouse fingers crossed we should get i think might have had something creep in on me Yeah, we, we're close. Like things just constantly like creep up in and, and pull you down just, just a little bit. Oh, I think this image might actually be a little stretched. I think I knew that. Also, we made a plugin on stream, I think, for AMP pages. So these are getting like a little extra Google SEO juice by being AMP. And all it did was like, after you render out that, that markdown, you got some HTML. Take that HTML and swap out some, some HTML elements with AMP elements, and it looks pretty much the same. Uh, I still need to fix syntax, I think, on AMP pages. Do that on a stream someday, but... So we can show just super quick a um you know why it, like why is it marked down in data yeah juice that seo um if i go i python from mercata import mercata m so i'm in my website so it has if i ls there's this mercata.toml so by default I'm looking at this for my config and it uh, gives me Mercata object. I do m.articles. Uh, it, it knows to go out and glob and load when I ask for articles. So these are all the posts on my website. And I can do fun things like a uh, list comp. So a or a in m.articles if tmux in a square bracket uh, title. These are all my tmux posts. We can do things like, uh, can you tell me the title? There we go. Those are all my tmux posts. Um, I just get like this Marcata class and it's got some stuff on it and it's super easy to like hack and, and plug away at. Okay. We were at rotate window. Sure is neat. Um, what? Okay, so the I'm trying to think of what other things there were, but uh, anyways, like all the lifecycle methods end up in here. So there's this run one. This essentially is like how. Uh, Like if you just call run from the command line, it does this, uh, all the lifecycle methods. Yep. And actually like this render, I ended up 
in implementing a pre-render and post-render. We looked at render. Uh, I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Anyways, it's there. Um, let's go back to place J. I think just my username. Yep. We are on select layouts. I have a binding for rotate. M O. Okay. Oh, if really need. I used to have both, but then uh, I had like right hand top keys uh, take me like quick access to different projects. So O got taken up. So if I do M O, this is images.waylandwalker.com. M I is waylandwalker.com. Uh, What can we learn about rotate window? Okay, here we go. Rotate window positions the panes within a window upward. Dash Z keeps the window zoomed if it was zoomed. So imagine that layout where clockwise. We zoomed one full screen. You could still rotate, but you wouldn't see anything except for one zoomed in pane. That's kind of weird. I want to see. Looks. Somewhere in here, here's a gist, like eight years old, but works fantastic. Um, I'm looking for bind key. Okay, there's control O was rotate window. Um, we find O. Select pane dash T. That is cool. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to just do a um, on command O. So now I ran that. If I do back to something like this and I go M O, there we go. And I do M shift O, there we go. For a long time, this is just how I uh, navigated Tmux. I didn't have, uh, like, uh, we zoom here. I didn't have, like, my HJKL. Hmm. 
No, let's go ahead and I'm going to include the default default ones here in this. I think they're kind of okay for this. I do not. Break command. Especially. I set a, a similar, and I do this for like most of the key bindings in the default bindings. I set one based on mod. Is mod. That's good. So we've done splits. We've done the rotates. I don't think we've done. Select pane. Go back to here. Let's do a live grab for select pane. We have not done it. So, Control W, and we're going to call this Tmux. Select. MD. Select Pain. J. There we go. There we go. Uh, Alt B. Select pane. L U L R U D. Yank. J. Back. Paste. Triple. Dash. 
purple. We got a new follow eight minutes ago. What? I am off my game here. Gay Fury D. Thank you for the follow. We are. What are we up to now? Followers. We are up. Oh, we're in the 30s. Making some progress. Speaking of which, you haven't, you haven't yet. Check out, check out the YouTube channel. Let me follow if you can, this team looks, uh, I think he can. We're outside. Um, yeah, you go to the garage and grab your shoes. Anyways. As you can unlock it. Um, anyways, the, we're going to have a bunch of these, uh, one minute bite-sized clips go on YouTube. That's what we're building up for. So follow there. These will all be. Um, we're doing a select pin. And these are like my most common used key bindings. They allow me to Jump between let's we unzoom this. We still have a bunch. So these key bindings are K up, J down, H H left, L right. Just like the old the old Vim keys. So, rotate window. Let's think here. What did we do before rotate window? Resize. That was on 20. Let your mouse scroll no. Um so anyways, so which one was on twenty? Twenty one is select layout. Twenty was resize panes. Nineteen was choose tree. Select pane. Okay, rotate window should go from 21 to 22. I think we're in rotate, so this goes to uh, R2. Save. Do, uh, 
back to select pane. This one is the 23rd R. Three, save. Drone myself here. Let's just use one of these. Get, get UI. Zoom it. to make those a lot. Okay. Select pain was the last thing we did. Uh, we have another one. And we covered selecting. We covered splits. Covered rotates. Haven't covered windows. Where's my M? MC, where are you? M dash B. You like, so we've got spl a split section here. I think Windows deserve a section. If we do new window, what belongs with new window? Kind of think previous window and next window. Which, yeah, previous window, next window belong together. I think I'm going to do my... going to be a shift R uh, new window goes with previous window goes with next window down here it's M1 I think this was like Again, when I remapped all the default key bindings. Okay. The last one was select pane. Let's do a uh, right. Uh, two. Window Emux Emux New Window and Now on R four. There we go. In my
new window makes windows those are They are a full uh, Are there another screen with session? Make new in we should maybe we're just gonna cover new window here and how to get between new window. Uh are the default key bindings for new window? new uh c yep of course that is what i've mapped it to oh and we want uh Previous, previous window, copy. Next window. I made that kind. No, there's a next window here. I don't know what next window dash A is. I overwrote it, so I can't even try it. Um, I guess we could. Let's do, let's create a bunch of these. And do a control space. Oh, that was alt space. Control space, colon, next window. Could take us to the next window. Now, control space colon next window tack A. No next window. I don't know what next window dash A does. New window, find window, last window, next window. Previous window. That's interesting. I guess if you, um, we did a rename window. Fine. And then went back here. We have a find window, which is control base F find window mine. And then this brings us over to choose tree. I can go back to mine window. Interesting. Uh, let's just get rid of these. There we go. Uh, shift. I'll shift X N There we go. But this one I don't understand. B 
these are the for creating and navigating. Tmux. Kids happily playing outside. Um, speaking of which, we are coming up at like one of the longest streams I've ever done because we've had a smooth day. Usually, kids are needing more stuff, but it's probably time to let go give them some attention. Um, So I've rebound these. I generally a single keystroke. It's uh or a single keystroke over uh prefix. Plus E binding. Max goes. So when I started using Tmux, I did everything in one giant session with many paint and window. It a to manage quickly. Sets Ish. this year I Check check out out check out this post at work below. Yeah. Okay. Successful stream today. We. I cleaned up my Tmux configuration. Had some chat. Actually had people in my chat. Super pumped for that. I just started streaming not all that long ago, within the past couple months. Not too often do I get people actually hanging out in stream or hanging out in chat. Love it. Super fun. Um, We cleaned up our dot files and made like four posts. We're gonna roll on. 
I'm hoping to get like uh um like a post a day uh on the various platforms I'm posting videos on for like a month maybe. We'll kind of see how that works, see if we can get we can squeeze 30 videos out of that. Um let's go to the Twitch. See if we can do a giant raid with all of our followers here. Oh, Anthony's on. So we may just go straight to Anthony. Uh, anyone else? Okay. Protoco. Oh, yep. He's here. Okay. And Pythoners. Eat Game Love is doing our stuff, but they're not family friendly if that's a concern for you. Um, considering the size of this raid that we're about to do, and you are our one vote, Afton, I'm good with going with that. Uh, what is it? It's, uh, copy. Paste. So how's this work, Afton? Is uh, looks like someone. And it looks like he's typing, and he's trying to teach her, and she looks like she is not paying attention. She looks wiped, like she's like, "We've we've been here long enough. I'm not I'm not getting it." He's actually teaching her. She's new to coding. Okay. That's what it looks like. It's going on. Okay. Why doesn't she have the keyboard, though? Okay. She asks a lot of questions. Yeah, but this is a nice setup here. They've got the... Uh, Pokemon following, and um, I like his, uh, what do you call this? Uh, captions. Captions are sweet. How do we get to our, I think it's uh, dashboard.twitch.tv. Yeah, those are some sweet captions. Yeah, no problem. You are welcome for the stream. It was fun. It was fun having someone. Thank you so much for being in chat. It was super fun having someone actually in the chat. Not often enough do I get people in the chat. I have a few people from Australia that uh, come in in the mornings every once in a while, but not too often. Anyways, have a good one. We're going to start the raid. Try to. One viewer is ready. And it's three, two, one. And have a good one.